Good evening, everyone. Thank you once again for joining me in my weekly book reading of The Teeth That Stole My Time. So today we're going to share from a very beautiful chapter called Deliverance from Bondage. This is the last, the second to last chapter of the book and it's very, very dear to me because deliverance has been something that has really influenced my life in a positive way because there are so many areas in my life that I needed deliverance. And I found deliverance in Christ Jesus and I just want to share the, some, of, some of the lessons I've learned in my journey. So um, today we're going to read from a topic called Spoken Curses. It's very short, but it's very impactful. So here we go. Proverbs 18, 21 says, Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Have you been careless with your declarations? vows and even wishes concerning your life and the lives of others. I have brought curses upon my own life because my lack of understanding regarding the power of the spoken word. I carelessly made negative utterances concerning my life, my future and the things I could and could not do. And so it's manifestation in my life. Proverbs 12 18 says, the words of the reckless pierce like swords. But the tongue of the wise brings healing. Aside from your own words are the words of others. The negative words that were spoken over us when we were yet children remain in our psyche today. The words that shaped us, our thought process, and the way we see ourselves. Some curses were carelessly spoken over us by our parents in moments of anger. These words remain with us throughout our lives and become self fulfilled prophecies. Then there are curses from people outside of our families with evil agendas that speak evil against us and have evil wishes towards us. All of these curses can affect our lives if they are not addressed and uprooted. It requires deliverance. So this this portion today is very short but it is so it is so important that I think that we have to stop and, and give it the attention that it needs. Spoken curses have affected and is affecting both your life and my life today as we as we function. Like, like I read, even our own families, even our own parents, in moments of anger, they say things, but because we come from them, they have authority over our lives and things that they speak have the power to come to pass and manifest because they are they are the tree and we are the seed from that tree. And they have power to, to speak things over our lives. And as parents, we have to be careful what we speak over our children. Even in moments of anger, we are to speak blessings and not curses. You know, some of our parents like to say things like, you saw this, you're like this person and you're like that person. We need to pay attention and be careful with our words because our words, life and death are in the power of your tongue. What the words that were spoken to, 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 to many of us, even as children, we still remember the words of our father, of our mother, or somebody that we, we had respect for. They spoke something negative and that remained in our psyche and we're adults today and we're still reliving those words because it was spoken and it had affected us and it becomes self-fulfilling prophecies even in our lives. But we have the power to break those cases because of the word of God. Jesus went on the cross and he died for everything. He, did, he died to bring deliverance for every curse of our lives. The curse was broken by the curse breaker on Calvary's cross on, on, on that beautiful day on Golgotha Hill. The, curse, the curses of our lives are broken. But we have to be reminded of what God's word is saying concerning us. Otherwise, we'll keep reliving the words of others. And even in our own lives, we have, we have brought pain upon the lives of others by our own decisions. Sometimes we heard families, we heard people, and those people said negative, spoke negative words of us. I wish he never this, or I wish he never this, because, because in the moments of pain that we caused them, we were responsible for bringing them pain. And in those moments of pain they declare negativity over us they declare curses over our lives and those curses can manifest 
if we do not stand in authority and the only authority that we have is the authority of the word of God to break those curses of our lives we could break the curses evil wish evil plans evil agenda of others over our lives and even people with mere jealousy they, 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 they don't like us or they whatever and they speak things over our lives I wish this never happened I wish they never prosper I, I, I declare they would never prosper and they will never do this and they will never do that you have the power to you don't know what is going on in the spiritual realm but we have the power to break things and, and God's word give us that authority. And sometimes we behave, we walk and live life so naively, not understanding that things are working against us and we are not aware of it. And the Bible said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So we ought to make, we ought to, to study the word and understand what God's word is saying. And, 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 and declare God's word over our lives. So because God's word will, will nullify every other word spoken because his word is final. His word is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And it, 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 it cannot fail. So we have to declare his word over our lives. And, and we are to, 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 to always speak his word. Speak his word. Be careful what you even say over your life in, 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 in moments. Um... I'm struggling, uh, I, 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 I can't see my way, I can't, we, we declare so much negative things, but declare, stop looking at what, what, what it looks like and declare what God said. He said, let the weak say I am strong, let the poor say I am rich, because he gave us this strategy. He said, like I have created you to, to, to prophesy my, what my word is saying over your life. Imagine you have a prophetic ministry to, 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 to prophesy what God's word is saying over your life and to watch it come to pass. And that is what we ought to, ought to be doing over our lives, declaring what God's word is saying. So we can break every spoken curse over our lives, spoken by ourselves, spoken by, by people that, 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 that wish us bad and spoken in, 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 in a sense, in moments of anger by, by, by people that has authority over our lives. And that is my word for today, and I pray that it blessed you. I just want to leave you with a word of prayer. Father, we come before you with thanksgiving. I thank you for the opportunity, dear God, to declare your word. I pray that it would it would reach the ears of the person that need us. Father, you you hold our tongue. You you help us to say only that which would bless our lives, dear God. I come against every negative word we already spoke of our lives, dear God. Father, we repent. We are sorry. We are sorry in our ignorance. We said things that we shouldn't have said, dear God. And in our pain, we declared negative things, dear God. Father, we are sorry. We say today to forgive us, dear God, and help us to know your word and to know it intimately and to know what it is saying about us. So we will declare only that which your word is saying concerning our lives, dear God. Father, we forgive those that, that wished us bad. We forgive those that, that spoke negative over our life, dear God. Father, I pray, dear God, that you would bless them, dear God, and help them to to, 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 to forgive us for, for the pain that we even caused them, dear God. Father, we forgive even those that, that, that had authority over our lives, that said negative things in, in their moments of anger, dear God. Father, we forgive them, we release them, and dear God, we help, we ask you to help us to only speak that which your word is saying over our lives and over the lives of the people that we influence, dear God, so that we can truly, dear God, nip the devil and cut off the power of the enemy over our lives dear god holy ghost we declare what your word is saying that we are fearfully and wonderfully made we are the head and not the tail above and not beneath the lender and never the borrower we commit this 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 evening and we commit this video into your hands and we ask you to let it reach the ears of the person that need to hear it in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen so I just want to thank you for tuning in and ask you to like, comment, and share this video on our Facebook and Instagram pages and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I want to encourage you again to get the book, The Teeth That Stole My Time. It's available at all RIK bookstores, all Muhammad bookstores, and it's available on kin in Kindle copy and hard copy and on Amazon. Thank you once again for joining us. I hope to see you again next week. Bye.